Right, I've caught the one, no, the 20 from Weston to Burnham. Got off at the garage. And uh, I'm coming down this lane. I haven't done this for a couple of years. So, it's nice to do it again. I took some pictures when I was on the bus. Don't know what they come out like. I've got the sun right in front of me, so I don't think the video would be that brilliant, so I won't do much at the start. I won't do much at the start. It's just an indication of the start of the walk, really. You've got some nice little cottages along here. There's some pretty little flowers, aren't they? They're pretty. Oh, it was about, um, 30 odd years ago when I first came down here. We brought the army cadets down here for, um, map and compass. Learning, teaching them how to use a map and a compass. That was the very first time I ever came down here. I was much fitter then. Fitter than I am now, I mean. Marathon running in those days. That's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. People have had time to do their houses up with COVID in a way because, you know, not been able to go to work or where some people have retired. This little cottage is gradually falling into rack and ruin. It's a shame, really. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if anyone will buy it and do it up. I'm sure there was somebody still living in it when I came last. Just about hanging on in there they were. Yeah. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right. Just leaving that area. Now normally I don't get to this place to, for another hour. I usually get off at Barrow Church and walk down. But um, I've cut that bit out today. I've decided just to come straight here. I have done it a couple of times just to come straight to the garage and come across. It saves your hour, hour and a half, and I can get back for the one of the football matches then. In a minute, Brent Noel will come into view at the... I just hope I don't have to negotiate too many cows or anything, but it's possible. Beautiful daisies and those yellow things. Yeah, look. They lovely, look at them all. Beautiful. <sighs> yeah, just a little video I'm doing. I haven't been down here for a while. I'll take my jumper off in a minute. It's just starting to warm up. And I'll be on top of the Brent Knoll in a couple hours time. <sighs> Going down the other side. To Limpsham, to East Brent and Limpsham. And right over there we can see Crook's Peak, which I was on about three days ago. I was standing on that. I'm doing all the all the hills. This stuff's deadly, don't touch it. It uh, really gives you a nasty rash. You don't go near that stuff. You can help it. I can. Yeah, so there we go, look. Brent Knoll. I'm going to take a picture. I'm turning off. It's just a little tiny introduction, another introductory video. Over and out.
Right, there's the tractor going to do some more threshing of whatever they call it. Um, and I think they cut hay now all the time because it's uh, and bale it. I think they bale it all year round now. But he's just passed me. A woman passed me without a stick or any backpack or anything. She might just walk up to the rugby crown, mightn't she? Oh, that's great though. This is lovely. This is lovely feeling, everyone. Out in the Somerset countryside, this, this is a beautiful, beautiful walk, this is. And uh, it's a steady climb up the hill. There's the church at um, Brent Knoll that I normally go in and take photos of. And then they have a nice gentle walk. There are trees part of it because there's a hedgerow you can shelter. All mo it's only really exposed when you get on the top of the knoll. Um, well, I just want to put my... Wait a minute. That way. Sorry, if I put my stick away, I can then hold the camera with two hands and keep it steady. Um, yeah, there's, it's, it's usually, the most exposed bit is going up. No, is on the top when you walk around the top, round by the trig point and all that. And then I'll be looking over to where I've been walking the last couple of days. I'll be when I get up there. I'll be looking over to Crooks Peak, um, the Mendip Hills. You know, Glastonbury Tour probably. Um, I'll be able to see the Somerset Levels, the Vale of Avalon, and uh, yeah, I thought I, they predict thunderstorms from tonight onwards. Um, I don't know how long, that, but um, there is a warning. So another reason for getting here early-ish. Um, cutting out part of the walk that I normally do from Barrow Church. And, um, oh, there's somebody else coming now. Let me let him go. Wait a minute. All right. Well, the, must be a way to the rugby ground from here. Or oh, she's the farmer's mom. Yeah, so there we go. We can see the... What he's doing is... Um, that's what he's doing, see? He's got these things that spin round and sort of freshen up the hay ready for being belled, I expect. My old hockey ground used to be over there in the rugby club. Um, I don't know where it went. I think they moved to the King Alfred Sports Centre. But we always trained on the rugby... On the rugby fields we always trained. I don't think she's going to be able to park there, is she? Because that tractor will be coming round. God, I hope I'm not going to be... She's probably going to move her jeep. I can see cows over there. I, I'm not, I, I shouldn't be going in that field, but there's cows over there, look. And, um, oh, she's, she's moving a bit. Yeah, and then there's the, there's the rugby um, fields over there where I once played rugby. I don't know if my friend Jerry still has his big van over there. He had a big, car big caravan. And um, he used to open the bar and stuff. That could be Jerry's caravan. And he's 79 now, you know. He was 79 this year, Jerry. An old friend of mine. And uh, he might still live in there. 
make well indeed. It's just what he'd wanted anyway to live somewhere like that in his um, old age and somewhere to um, keep all his tools. He had, he had a great big shed and um, he had a big shed where he kept everything. And one day I will pop in there. I haven't been there for years and years. I haven't been to the rugby ground for years and years. And um, that's probably his wife, the farmer's wife, and she looked like she had a sort of a pram in or a cot in the back. Got her dog. She might have come out and have lunch together or breakfast. There he goes. No, he ain't, he ain't very friendly that one. Some farmers are really friendly. I had um, a big chat with the one when I was over Winscombe. He was really um, chatty and, and, and lovely to speak to. Here's some more daisies up. I'm going to turn off and take some pictures of these before I carry on the walk. So there we go. Over and out.